and welcome to Polymer Update. This is Simran Chaudhary and you're watching Polymer Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with the free petrochemicals news show. Our special news reel today is sponsored by Recycling and Circular Economy Conference, scheduled to be held on Friday, April 12, 2019 at Hotel Taj, Santa Cruz, Mumbai. The conference is jointly organized by Polymer Update and P World Tech Private Limited. The theme of the conference is growth opportunities for businesses through recycling in the Indian subcontinent. Let's start with energy and feedstock news. Crude futures inched lower for the first time in more than a week on Thursday on the back of a rise in crude inventories in the US. Brent futures declined marginally by one cent to $67.07 per barrel, while WTI futures slipped by 20 cents to $56.96 per barrel. According to Vandana Hari of Vanda Insights, crude futures were dropping early Friday in Asia in tandem with a weaker open for most of the region's stock markets and following a substantial build reported by the US Energy Information Administration in commercial crude stockpiles in the country. US crude production reached a new high of 12 million barrels per day last week, the EIA data showed. Though it should come as no surprise, given the recent trajectory of U.S. output growth, the attainment of the key psychological mark contributed to bearish sentiment over global oil supply. Open spec NAFTA prices meanwhile gained at the 548 U.S. dollars per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels, a day-only increase of 6 U.S. dollars per metric ton. On Thursday, ethylene prices climbed higher in Asia. Reports of limited product availability and strong demand trends together pushed prices higher across the Asian region. Higher upstream crude and NAFTA rates further supported the price rise. CFR Northeast Asia prices of ethylene were assessed higher at the 1,200 US dollars per metric ton levels, a day-only gain of 10 US dollars per metric ton. CFR Southeast Asia prices of ethylene were assessed up at the 1085 US dollars per metric ton levels a rise of 10 US dollars per metric ton from Wednesday's assessed levels propylene prices in asia inched up on thursday the price rise was supported by firmer upstream energy values coupled with improved buying trends in key markets like china fob korea prices were assessed up at the 925 US dollars per metric ton levels, a day-on-day -day increase of 5 US dollars per metric ton. CFR China prices were higher at the 955 US dollars per metric ton levels, a rise of 5 US dollars per metric ton from Wednesday's assessed levels. Let's take a look at futures on China Dalian Commodity Exchange for today on February 22, 2019. LNDPE prices are lower by 5 RMB per metric ton at 8,685 RMB per metric ton. PP rates are down by 9 RMB per metric ton at 8,800 RMB per metric ton. PVC prices remain steady at 6,440 RMB per metric ton. In plan news, Saudi Aramco is in plans to undertake a planned shutdown at its 240,000 barrels per day oil refinery located at Yanbu in Saudi Arabia in early March 2019. The refinery is expected to remain under maintenance for around one month. Polymer Update has introduced news and price analysis on Amazon Alexa Virtual Assistant using Echo and other devices. The platform lets subscribers check latest news and prices just by asking Echo or any other Alexa enabled device. This is the first of its kind on Amazon Alexa, so do read the kind of questions that you can ask to Amazon Alexa about Polymer Update. Our special news reel today is sponsored by the Recycling and Circular Economy Race Conference scheduled to be held on Friday, April 12, 2019 at Hotel Taj, Santa Cruz, Mumbai. The conference is jointly organized by Polymer Update and P World Tech Private Limited. The theme of the conference is Growth Opportunities for Businesses Through Recycling in the Indian Subcontinent. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch our daily news video on Monday to know more. It is Friday, February 22nd. I am Simran Chaudhary. Thank you. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Polymer Update and be sure to click the like button. You can also find us on Twitter at Polymer Update. 
For the latest news from the plastics and petrochemicals industry, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon.